If you have followed the Gigabyte channel for some time, then you should know I've tested tons of Kuga electric scooters, from the portable smaller ones like Kuga S series to great faster ones like Kuga G Booster. So you may wonder, what's my favorite Kuga scooter? Well, I like the portability of Kuga S series, but I'm a speedster. I really like the speed on the Kuga G Booster. But you know, the G Booster is really not something you can easily carry around. It weighs 30 kilograms. And you know, I found the Kugel Crane M4. I can safely say it's my favorite electric scooter all around so far. Hey guys, so I'm here. Today, let's take a look at this piece. Let's go. Let's get straight to the reasons I like about the Kugel M4. First is the speed. The Korean M4 sports a 500 watt modem, which enables a max speed of 45 km per hour. In my test, I was able to reach 42 km per hour on flat ground. That was crazy fast. With such speed and a powerful motor, it opened up a lot of possibilities. You could climb almost any slope that would be impossible for other scooters. You can hit beams and curves like that and even there. Of course, I'm not suggesting you do so deliberately, but when you run into such dicey situations, you could easily speed to scoot out of them. For sure, if you want slower speeds, it comes with other two modes. Mode 1 gets you up to around 15 km per hour, and mode 2 bumps it up to 30 km per hour. You can use whatever speed modes you want based on your road conditions. Perfect for recreational purpose or daily commute. Second, Let's talk about its safety. I know you may have doubts about that. Let's check out the build quality. M4 is definitely not something they just stuff a high power motor into a smaller scooter frame. Fortunately, the M4 has an entirely different design than the other somewhat lower power cooler scooters I've reviewed. It sports two 10-inch skid-proof tires, two disc brakes, along with an electric brake, dual suspension, a 12cm ultra-high chassis, and most importantly, the super robust aluminum alloy body frame. All of this contributes to a safe, stable, and smooth riding experience. No matter which speed you are in, you can walk with fast brake in a few meters. Finally, let's talk about the portability. Of course, it's foldable. Put down the seat first, Fold the handlebar like the video shoes, adjust the stem height to the lowest, not move to the tricks part. In order to put the stem down, you have to push forward against the stem a bit, and then put the rear bolt out. Done. If you want to unfold, then just pull the rear bolt out directly. As the M4 weighs 23 kilograms, it's not that easy to carry around, but for me personally, it's not that difficult either at least much better than Kugel G Booster. It's fine for picking it up, to put it in the car, or do several flights of stairs. But for most of us, you probably won't be folding or lifting the scooter much. So the weight might not be too much of a worry. And when it comes to handling, the heavier weight is actually a benefit. It makes the ride feel more solid and stable. Two important factors for a high-speed scooter like this. To conclude, the M4 is the best electric scooter to ride all around. It has an excellent blend of looks, performance, battery life, and ease of use. The scooter has a travel distance of 45 km on a single 4 charge, but the battery life can vary depending on how you commute. It has a beautiful LCD display that shows all the basic information during riding, a long and wide riding deck, making it easy to get both feet on the board comfortably. And to my surprise, it has an IPX4 rating. The M4 will make your commute both fun and fast. For more, you can check out the link in the description. I'm Sammy, see you next time.